I want to talk about the difference between the state and federal courts. What a lot of people don't know, and what I didn't know when I went to law school, is that we actually have two court systems in this country. They run in parallel. It's a state court system and a federal court system. What you often see on movies and what you read about are the state court system. This is where you go for most criminal cases, speeding tickets, it's your local courthouse. These are trial courts, right? They have trials if you get called in for jury duty, it's typically in your state trial court. Now, I want to draw a distinction. There are questions that are matters of fact and matters of law. Matters of fact are determining questions like, was O.J. Simpson there the night his ex-wife was murdered? You're looking at DNA evidence, you're looking at circumstantial evidence. These are matters of fact that a jury has to determine. Now, on the other side, there are matters of law. These are questions about trying to interpret the finer points of laws. How do we understand them? Are they constitutional? How do they apply, like the Fourth Amendment search and seizure? Was it right and lawful for a police officer to make a search of your car? These are questions of law. Matters of fact are determined by a jury at a trial, and these are not appealable. If you want to contest a case where the determining factor was a matter of law, you can appeal it. And that appeal goes to an appellate court. States have their own appellate courts. Now, from the appellate court level, if you still don't like the decision, or there's some reason to contest it further, you can appeal the decision of the state appellate court to your state Supreme Court. Now, at the state Supreme Court level, they are the final arbitrator on state laws. When you have states that start to have laws that are in conflict with each other, you can appeal to the Supreme Court of the United States. For instance, the issue of same-sex marriage. Various states recently had different laws that had completely different conclusions on whether or not same-sex marriage was lawful. And so you had couples that were moving between states and had different rights in those states. So since all these states were making different decisions and we had really a wide variety across the United States of how they were handling same-sex cases. The United States Supreme Court decided to hear that case. That's the state court side of things. We have a parallel system in the federal court. We've divided the United States up into federal court circuits. Why do we have these circuits? Well, one is expediency. They sort of rotate around. The judges rotate. The appellate divisions rotate. And so it makes it easier to have it in smaller regional areas. But there's also a good reason for this. Let's say Target and Walmart get into a lawsuit. Now, I live in Minnesota. Target is headquartered in Minnesota. And people in Minnesota love Target. Let's say you have this lawsuit between Target and Walmart, and it's brought in Minnesota, and the case is on trial downtown Minneapolis. Half of your jury is probably going to have relatives who work for Target, and all of them are going to love Target because that's where they shop, and it's a Minnesota corporation. So there's a certain bias. Now, when we have these circuits, we can move our cases around the circuits to eliminate bias. For instance, if I were Walmart, I would want it removed to a different area in this circuit. And maybe it ends up in a different state or at least a different city. But it, it reduces the chance of having bias against one of your parties. Federal cases start in a trial court almost identical to a state court. They have, they determine matters of law and matters of fact. Matters of law are appealable to a federal circuit court of appeals, and those decisions are once again appealable now to the United States Supreme Court. So we have two different court systems, the state court system, the federal court system. Now, federal court cases are usually different. They typically involve questions of federal law. For instance, a lot of drug trafficking, uh, that invokes federal law. Maybe it's a case that involves interstate commerce where we don't want one state to decide it because they'll be biased, so we move it to federal court. Overall, these cases usually trigger some kind of federal law. So we have two different systems, the state court system and the federal court system. They usually have different legal questions that they're dealing with, but they act very similarly. If you want to learn more about how cases actually get to the Supreme Court, watch my episode of the Law Explained series on how a case gets to the Supreme Court.